All right, so I was at this pub yesterday and um, I ordered the burgers and she asked me if I wanted a poutine with that, the dish, not the president. And I was like, sure, I'll take a poutine with that. And afterwards in the bill, guess what? The poutine was an extra $5. That's what they call upselling. Good evening, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io, and we are back with another Shopify app review video. So this week we're looking at upsell recommendations by AutoCommerce. They have a 4.5 out of five star rating, which is pretty solid. I think they have about more than 200 reviews. And uh, the best part is it's completely free, but wait, there's not more. The point that I wanted to make is if you install and uninstall free apps very often, then well, the code every time you uninstall the app stays in your team. So all that code adds up and it slows down your store. So there is a cost in checking out free apps. That's why you check out our videos before. Anyways, uh, we're doing upsell apps. We already did a Simail. I still don't know how to pronounce them a couple of weeks back. So make sure if you're checking out upsell apps to check out that one. And I'm going to stop talking and we are looking at the app starting now. The app is installed and we are greeted with this welcome pop-up with info about the app. Huh? The app will set recommendations automatically. You don't have to pay for anything and there are actually no limits. Okay, okay, cool start. I'm listening. So let's click on next and we are on all right, the start guide. The first step is to turn on widgets we want to show on our store. Uh, we can choose between home page, product page, and cart page. So we will turn on all three options. I must say the design of this app is actually quite stunning. Ooh la la. In case you want to edit widget settings, you can do that by clicking on this icon right here. In the settings window, you can change the recommendation type. Two options are available, intelligent and best selling product. Also here you can change the positioning of the widget if that is something that you actually want. We will leave it as is for now and we will jump to the design settings. All right, first we have the widget preview. It looks nice and right under it, we can see a basic editor. The editor is split in two parts, content and style. So let's start with the content part. First, we have a number of products we can choose from. So one to 12 products. I mean, seriously, who will choose 12 products? We will choose four and max products per slide. We will go with two. Here you can change the alignment, currency, and also you can choose if you want to add infinite scrolling loop and image zooming effects. Mm. From the widget content, we can choose if we want to show the header, the product name, the product price, the button, the full width, and slide arrows on mobile. We will turn on all of it and button text is okay. So let's click on save and let's see what we can do in the style tab. All right, in the style tab, we can change fonts, font sizes, and colors, and we can also change the size of our product images. All right, uh, this section is checked out and we can proceed to the next step, which is product optimization. <laughs> tips. In the product optimization tips page, like you see, we are asked to install the additional free app. All right, you know how I feel about installing additional apps uh, or installing apps in general, but okay, uh, we won't do that for now because there is no real need for it. So we will go to the final page, which is recommendation and exit intent pop-up. This tab is also an ad for another app. So I guess we're all done with the start guide. So let's check the product page and here it is. Okay, now that we determined that this app works, we can go back to see what else this app offers. Um, so we are back to the app dashboard and frankly, there is not much more we can do. There is some basic analytics over here and for the past 30 days, and that's basically it. I mean, this app is really good. You can get a bunch of useful functions for free. Everything seems to be automated and you don't need any coding work. Also having full control over the style and the content of the widget is a huge plus from us. I'm not sure if there's any other app that offers this completely for free. Uh, if you guys know, please pin it in the comment section below. All right, that is it for today, people. I hope you're a bit better informed now on the options for you out there on upselling. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and have a fantastic rest of your evening, day, morning, weekend, whatever. Auf Wiedersehen.